If you want to be a movie director or a movie writer or a movie producer, you kind of got to start somewhere. When I was growing up, I made eight millimeter films. I kind of began my career making movies, little movies. JJ began his career the same way. It's one of those things where uh, every aspect of making Super 8 movies, I, I'm sure, on some level informed the beginnings of doing it for real, you know, as a, as a job. Before there was video, before people made their home movies on video, there was Super 8. And that was actually real film going through a camera, just like a movie camera. And that was the format of how people made home movies of their kids or their vacations. Kodak started making home movie film in the 30s. And a lot of that was called Standard 8 or Regular 8. I'm Norwood Cheek, and I founded Flickr, which is a place for Super 8 filmmakers to uh, gather and show their short films. In 1965, Kodak decided they wanted to kind of improve the format, and so they came out with Super 8 film, which was the, you know, home movie film of the 60s and 70s. This is an actual Super 8 camera from way back when. I had a version similar to this. Oh film. It comes in a 50-foot roll. There's still about three Super 8 stocks still available that Kodak makes. And you have this light-proof box, and you can see the Super 8 film right there. It's eight millimeters wide, which is why it's Super 8. It holds about three minutes of film. It goes in there, and shoots like that. You had a cartridge, there was a very distinct smell that, that would come every time you would open up the packaging and you would pop in the cartridge, which have a very distinct sound as it snapped in. It was some amazing tactile experience that went into making Super 8 movies. The first time I saw the camera, I was like, what is that? That, right? And then you go. I'd never seen one before in my life and it was just totally new. I was just like blown away that that was actually they use that. I'm filming. <laughs> the signature qualities of Super 8 that we all love are the grain and how the picture kind of jumps around and it's jittery. Uh, and that's because Super 8 is such a small format. Um, and so the, the natural grain structure that's on all film, uh, when you shine light through it, actually makes the grain really big. Here's the three main types of film stock. On the right here, we have 35 millimeter film, and this is the biggest stock, and this is what most movies that you see in the theater are shot on, it's 35 millimeters across. And then here is 16 millimeter film, half the size of 35. 16 used to be used for the news in the 70s, uh, and then this little guy over here is Super 8 film, and that was used for home movies in the 70s.